All right, guys, hopefully a couple decent trading lessons um, from this morning. One of them, and this is for those that didn't make it to chat or if you were in chat and maybe you were too shy to ask a question during the Q&A. Um, and, you know, if you're newer, maybe you didn't understand the idea, right? Um, so that's why I'm going over these. NVO was on the morning gap playlist. This is the daily chart. You can see it did gap up and have a nice pop. It gave a lot of it back. Let me switch to five minute candles. And uh, let me try to zoom in here to the, there's the open. I called over the mic an inside fives idea. So this candles range from here to here. The second candle had an inside five, range completely inside of the previous one. And then the third one inside of the second one, that's kind of coiling action. So the inside five setup is the first break of a previous five minute candles high. In this case, 128.83 right there. The worst case stop goes below this candle at 128, I guess, I think 19. So it's about just roughly, right? To make it simple, about 60 cents risk. Um, so the way I am stressing to handle these, if you like the idea, um, is to take the trade and place a hard stop and at least give it, you know, 15, 20 minutes to do what it's going to do and accept the stop out if that happens. So your position size is paramount. It's really important to have the proper size. Um, if you did that, right, you get long here. Uh, instead of buying the high of day break that a lot of people do, right, it gives you that cushion. So you take the high of day break, then you're probably selling down here. If you take it here and your stops here and you're giving it 15 minutes, then you finally start to get some separation to sell into. And you guys know once, once I get upside shape, I'm a seller of some and my stop goes to break even. And that that's the proper way these are meant to be handled. So you don't look at it, oh, well, it rolled over, you lost money, right? These are day trades, we rent them. Um, and this could have just as easily kept running, but there was a headline that uh, came out late morning that I, I even jumped on the mic and said, hey, this might affect NVO and LLY. And for the life of me, I can't remember what the headline was now, but it was related to um, you know, the, the drug loss or the weight loss drugs, right? So um, anyway, I wanted to go over that one. And then I really wanted to go over also CGC from this afternoon. This thing just took off on great news, right? All the pot stocks did. Um, and so I, I was looking for a pullback. And you see these red candles here? That's when I typed in the room, uh, two's buy zone. Two's buy zone idea. So we're going to zoom in right about there. If you notice the two's buy zone is between the eight, the blue line, and the 20 period moving average on two minute candles. There's a two minute right there. That's what it, that's why it's called the two's buy zone, two minute candles. Um, and it really didn't even get into the buy zone until right here. I had a bid at 1031. It went down to 1027. So I just about picked the bottom and it never looked back from there. I just never looked back. Um, a great testament to the twos buy zone. People ask me sometimes, well, when do you use the twos versus fives? Well, when you have a run like this thing did, and I'll go back to twos, and we got a whole free webinar on it, right? But I mean, just when you have a run like this where it had good news and doesn't even really get into the buy zone until right here, I'm taking that first visit to the twos buy zone every time, right? Not, not on some chat room pump or something, but I'm talking on a stock that had good news and is absolutely ripping. I'll do the same with the fives buy zone, right? So um, hopefully there's a decent lesson. If you haven't seen our free webinar on uh, buy zone pullbacks, you can shoot me an email, I'll send you the link. Anyway, there's the highlights from today that I, I hope there's some lessons in there for you. Um, you know, this thing had a big run before I even got involved, right? It ran from eight something and I get involved at, uh, what I say, 1031, right? I get involved right there after about a $2 run. It just shows the power of taking that first pullback. Um, my stop goes right down here. I don't even think it was 20 cents away. And uh, it just shows the power of, even if you can't, you feel like you can't find a way in, that first pullback can be pretty powerful, right? And it was a huge move from there, by the way. Um, 1031, it went to almost 15. So there you go. Anyway, I'm done babbling. I'm gonna make the uh, watch this video now. Have a good night.